So when it comes to Sony products, I've always appreciated them a little bit more when they add a little bit of that Japanese authenticity to them. And these, the Sony Link Buds, do this quite literally because these earbuds and charging case are encapsulated in a unique material made from recycled Japanese car parts and natural stone. And the end result is a soft touch hard shell with a unique speckled pattern and it kind of has this organic feel to it like a smooth stone washed up on a sandy shore. And because of this eco-friendly manufacturing process, no two sets of Sony Link Buds will have the exact same pattern, which makes each and every set of Link Buds unique. And I think this is a great design feature because you don't want to be like everybody else, do you? And it's also good because Sony is recycling cars that are no longer on the road in order to pave the company's road to a zero environmental footprint by 2050. And this could mean the PlayStation 8 could look like origami. And of course, Sony's eco-mindedness carries over to the packaging as well. It's 100% free of plastics and even 8% smaller in volume compared to the already incredibly eco-friendly XM4's packaging. And you might be thinking, this is unlike Sony. Surely these earbuds should be called the MDR1156 OEM ones or something like that, but they're not. These are simply called Link Buds. And the thinking behind the name is that these buds are designed to merge your offline world with your online world whenever you're using them. But anyway, that's enough backstory. Let me explain why the Sony Link Buds are completely different from every other true wireless earbuds on the market today. Sony has created what I believe to be the world's first open back earbuds. The innovative ring driver used inside the Link Buds are 12 millimeters. That's nearly double the size of the drivers used in the WF-1000 XM4s. And the XM4s are widely considered to be one of the best ANC earbuds you can buy right now. And I will tell you how these sound in comparison to the XM4s, so stick around for that. But think of the Link Buds in a way as the opposite of the XM4s. You see, the XM4s are designed to block out the noise of the world around you with class leading active noise cancelling. Whereas the Link Buds are designed to keep you aware of the world around you, allowing you to engage in conversations and daily tasks without ever having to take them off. And they've even got an official IPX4 rating, so a little bit of light rain won't be a problem for the Link Buds. And here's a true story. On one occasion, I jumped in the car, I started driving, and I was driving for about 15 minutes before I realized I was actually wearing the Link Buds. So based on that experience, I'd say Sony have done an excellent job at designing the Link Buds to fit seamlessly into your daily life. And Sony have described the new Link Buds as a marvel of miniaturization, and rightly so. The Link Buds are around 50% smaller in volume than the XM4s and approximately 45% lighter. And this is precisely what you need with an always on set of earbuds. And that is what Sony are calling these always on earbuds. But that isn't exactly true because at some point or other, you're gonna to have to recharge them. And when you take them out of your ear, they do have wear detect sensors, so they will automatically switch off and save power. And when you put them back in, they will spring to life again. But on the topic of power, the earbuds themselves have five and a half hours of playback time with the charging case adding an extra 12 hours of power. And of course, you could double your playback time by using these one at a time as a sort of old school hands-free headset. And if you chuck them in the case for 10 minutes, you can get up to an hour and a half of playback if you're in a pinch. And the case is also reduced in size by 26% compared to the XM4's case, which means it easily passes the Cowboy Pocket Watch Pocket Test. So this is all sounding good, but you're probably wondering what is it actually like to use them? Well, I've been lucky enough to have tested these out for a couple of weeks prior to the launch. And I have to say, the fit in the ear is unlike anything I've ever tested before. Sony say they've been analyzing ear shapes ever since the days of the Walkman in 1982. And it's this data that they've used to shape the link buzz to sit perfectly in your ear. And this must undoubtedly be another world's first. I've never seen anything quite like the fit here on the link buzz, but check this out. There are five different size supports in the box. 
which kind of work like little elastic springs. It's up to you to find the right size for your ear and when you eventually find the correct size support, it should ping into place inside your ear. And if you do decide to get a set of these, I do recommend you get a mirror and make sure you find the exact fit for you because this is crucial. And once you do get it right, the Link Buds are very comfortable and easy to wear for long durations. Your ears won't start to sweat or anything like that. So my personal opinion on the fit is it's kind of a loose fit because the ring driver is only really being held in by gravity and the shape of your ear with a little bit of support at the top with the elastic spring support thing. So because of the loose fit, I'd probably not recommend these for any kind of vigorous workouts. However, with that said, they'll be perfect for weightlifting or cycling and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I don't think Sony had sports in mind for the Link Buds when they created them. I believe these are purpose built for more office environments or work from home environments where you need to be more productive. And I say this because Sony seemed to have focused quite a bit on the voice call quality. So the great thing about the Link Buds is you can engage in online meetings whilst being able to clearly hear what's going on in the room around you. In your surroundings so if someone starts speaking to you you'll still be able to hear them and that's thanks to the open driver design so when it comes to voice call quality and the mics on board it actually uses a machine learning algorithm that has a database of over 500 million voice patterns and it will use these to enhance your own voice and cancel out the background noise let me know how it's sounding to you and now let's simulate some wind rushing past the earbuds let me know how it's sounding now as if i was outdoors and it was a windy day and now we've got some coffee shop background noise in the background let me know if my voice is still being picked out clearly with that machine learning now, when it comes to sound quality and how these compare to the Sony XM4s, it's actually a different kind of feeling you get from them. They have this kind of airy clarity, and it's this that shines through as the Link Buds' real strength. Vocal clarity is impressive, and instrumental details and nuances are present, especially if you're in a quiet environment. But if you're into loud volumes and heavy bass, I definitely recommend the XM4s all day. With that said, I have found a way to make the Sony Link Buds sound much bassier and much louder, but I don't think Sony intended them to be used this way. So in order to do this, if you twist the link buds into your ear in an anti-clockwise motion and kind of lock them in place like that, it literally doubles the perceivable bass output. But the problem is when you do this, they're not that secure in your ear. Anyway, that's a little trick that I discovered whilst using these. And do you know what really takes the link buds audio to the next level, it's the software combined with Sony's V1 chip and onboard DAC. To this day, I believe the Sony headphone app is the most advanced and best app on any set of earbuds I've ever tried. It brings so much to the table, for example, LDAC ah! for high-res audio playback, the DSEE for upscaling compressed audio. You've also got pop-up pairing that will work on Google devices, and you've even got Google location services on Android devices as well. And there's the new adaptive volume feature exclusive to the Link Buds, which will adjust the volume levels on the fly based on your locations and the surrounding noise levels. The XM4s do a similar thing, but with ANC not volume. And of course, within the app, you can adjust the EQs, save your own presets or use the built-in presets. There's also the speak to chat feature, which is particularly handy with these earbuds. As soon as you start speaking, your music stops. And when you stop talking, it will switch back on again, which is ideal for work environments. And you can customize the controls as well. And this is really interesting. Just like any earbuds with touch sensitive controls, you can tap the back to play pause, skip but if you hold your finger down you can summon your ai assistant but with the new sony link buzz the side of your face actually becomes part of the user interface and this sounds strange but it's true and it really does work and i guess the upside of this is you're not disturbing or dislodging the positioning of the link buds in your ear and you won't hear that horrible tapping noise loudly when you do it so i think it's fair to say the link buds are unique and I do believe they're not just all about working environments. And I say this because Sony have partnered with Microsoft on their Microsoft Soundscape platform and Nintendo with their App Store and Google Store Pikmin game and Pokemon games. So the idea is that the Sony Link Buds can also be used for augmented reality. Again, linking the offline world with the online world 
using audio. And if this sounds like an interesting topic and you'd like to see a video on it, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to test out this feature more specifically. So at the end of the day, can I recommend the Sony Link Buds to you? Well, the answer is yes. If you're an Apple or Android user and you're looking for a lightweight, compact pair of earbuds that don't make your ears sweat, and you don't need noise cancelling, in fact, you need the opposite, you need to hear what's going on around you all the time. And if voice call quality is a priority, and when it comes to sound, if you prefer clarity over volume and heavy bass, then yes, I absolutely can recommend the Sony Link Buds. So let me know what you guys think of the Sony Link Buds. Do you like the name or would you prefer the more old school name? Would you choose these over the XM4s? Let me know in the comments below. And if these don't seem like the right earbuds for you, you should definitely check out my review on the XM4s, especially if you're looking into noise cancelling earbuds. And I appreciate you guys for watching this one. If you got any kind of value out of this, a thumbs up would make my day, a subscribe would make my month. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.